Hello, it's Carla from Scrap and Create. Now, we are going to be starting our Little Things album. Now, this is a landscape album. It's going to be measuring 8 by 10 with a 3-inch spine. Now, I was under the impression that Daphne had a base tutorial for an 8 by 10 album. It's an eight and a, hers is an eight and a half by, what was it, ten and a half landscape album. But I, you guys all know how to make base albums. I will link her eight and a half by ten and a half inch album. Just know that ours is an eight by ten. And ours has a three inch spine. So the base build will be essentially the same with a few little adjustments. So to build your, your base, you will need a 12 inch, um, a 12 by 12. I'm, I'm showing you in different colors so you can see the contrast. A 12 by 12 black cardstock, 12 by 12 black cardstock. And for the centerpiece where we're going to be putting our three inch spine, you do not have to use a 12 by 12 inch um, piece of cardstock. You can use your regular eight and a half by 11. Because what you are going to be doing, and if you watch Daphne's base build, she does it similar to this. This is eight inches tall. So we are going to have one inch down here and we will also have one inch up here. So, you are going to be putting this three inch spine one inch above the bottom here. You want to have at least, at least for me, I want two inches to where it's going to be connecting with this 12 inch um, piece and two inches on this side where it's going to be connecting to this 12 inch piece. Why? Because I want it as far away as I can from this spine where we're going to be placing our our 8 by 10 inch wide pieces. Oops, you can't see that. So I want this to be 2 inches away from where this is going to be bending. So what does that mean for you? It basically means this center piece, you want to cut it. So this is gonna be three inches wide here, plus two inches, that's five, plus two inches, that's seven. So cut this center piece. So you want it seven inches wide, seven inches wide. You cannot see this seven inches wide. So cut this black cardstock seven inches wide. Then you will be scoring the 12 inch piece here and putting your, your score tape, putting your score tape here to connect this piece to this piece. And you will be putting your score tape You'll be, you'll be um, scoring this at a half an inch and putting your score tape on this side and connecting it to this piece. So hopefully that makes sense. The rest is all the same. So once you get this adhered, you are going to do exactly how you normally make an album. You'll be putting this here and putting this one on this side and one inch down here and then you will cut this one inch up here and you'll have one inch on your sides also. So that is the only difference. So again, just make sure you know this is a three inch spine, not a two and a half inch spine. Um, these are eight by 10 pieces here. So hopefully that makes sense. Get this together, 
build it, fold it just like you normally would for a base album build. And then we will be making the hinge because obviously the hinge is going to be different. So now we're going to build our hinge. And it's like every other hinge, only the measurements are going to be different. So remember, we have four pages. We are going to have five eighths of an inch gussets in between our pages. There'll be a half an inch gusset between the front cover and page one, and about a half an inch gusset between page eight and the back cover. Remember, our hinges are not going to be half an inch tall. They're going to be three quarters of an inch tall. And we're going to have our one inch side wings that extend out of the spine. So I've scored it, I've already scored it out for you. So let's go through this. So you're gonna put your cardstock down here. I'm using pink just so hopefully you can see it better. We're going to start off with our one inch side wing. So you're gonna score it one inch. Between the front cover and page one, we're going to have a half an inch gusset. So we're going to go here at one and a half. Oops, one and a half. Now we're going to build our first hinge. So we need three, we need two three quarter inch areas. So we're going to add, we're gonna start here and we're gonna count three quarters of an inch. So what is three quarters of an inch? You are going to be counting one, two, three, four, five, six. Six. Six slots, one, two, three, four, five, six, six slots. Here we're landing on three, so that's where you should be. Now we're going to add our five eighths of an inch gusset. So now you're going to be counting five slots, one, two, three, four, five, Put a score mark, that's your gusset. Now we're going to be making our hinge for page two. So three quarters of an inch. So we're gonna start here and add six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And hopefully you can see that. That is four and a quarter plus this one slot. And then add six again. Just count your slots. One, two, three, four, five, six. So now we're at five plus that one. Now we're gonna add our five eighths of an inch gusset. So start where we just scored, add five, one, two, three, four, five. Put your score line and now we're going to make the hinge for page three. So go back and it's three quarters of an inch. So we're gonna count out six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yay! We ended on, on six and a half right there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven and a quarter makes that nice. Now we're gonna add our gusset, our five eighths of an inch gusset. This was for page three, five eighths of an inch gusset. So we're gonna go back to the score line, count five, one, two, three, four, five. Now we're gonna make our last hinge, count six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's eight and a half plus one right there. Count six, one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's nine and a quarter plus one. And now 
that was page four. We made our hinge for, for page four, so we are now facing our back cover. So we only need a half an inch gusset. So just count four. One, two, three, four. And we are left with one and an eighth inch side wing on this side. So hopefully this makes sense. And then you can see all this, hopefully you can see the score lines. So just make sure you're counting like three quarters of an inch is six slots. One, two, three, four, five, six. Five eighths of an inch is five slots. One, two, three, four, five. Just, just count them and it should look like this. And you can see the difference between your half an inch, your hinge, your gut five eighths inch gusset. Okay, so put that aside. So we know where our hinge is. So what I'm going to do to make it real easy I'm going to go, here's, here's hinge number one. I'm just going to fold that because I know that is hinge number one. There is hinge number one. Hopefully you guys can see. Let me see if I get a little bit closer. That was hinge number one, right? We're just folding right in between those three quarters of an inch markings. And we're going to put those two pieces of paper together. That is going to make hinge one. Now we have hinge number two. Hinge number two. So we are just going to fold right in between those two three quarters of an inch score marks. And now we have hinge number two. Same thing. Here's the three quarters of an inch for hinge two right there. So we're just going to fold that right down the middle there. So that was page the hinge for page three. And here's our last one. Just, it's easier to fold it this way. You can see it. So now we have our four hinges with our five eighths of an inch gusset and then we have our side wing and everything looks good. So basically what you're going to do now is just like you normally make your hinges. What I like to do is fold everything down so when we place it in, it's all nice and flat. Hold all the score marks. There's my hinge there. But you guys know how to do this part, right? You've all made hinges before. Um, it's just getting those score marks scored. Everything that's scored, just score it. And then we can reform our hinges. It's there, there, there. Gotta fold those ones. Except for this part. You do not need to fold on your half inch gussets. So it's basically it got everything 
folded because you want this kind of flat because you're going to be adding your score tape to the back side. So that was the only reason I wanted these kind of folded. just so this is more of a flat surface. So now we have our four hinges. For the hinges to put them together, use glue. Um, I know a lot of people use tape, but had this this love hate relationship between glue. I usually use score tape for everything, but we know that glue makes a stronger bond. It actually adheres the paper fibers together, whereas tape, which is strong, but it's just on the surface. So we, and this hinge is not really moving. It's just going to, we just want this bond to be really strong. So basically just put glue in here. It's gonna be one of the few times I actually use our glitter glue because it is so fast drying. Let me go back out. I am way, way too close there. So I'm just going to be putting some glue in here, get right in them down the seam. Oops, I am not very good at this. And just do it on one side and then just push it together. Push it together, squeeze the any glue that you have in there, anything seeps out, just wipe it out. I didn't get much seepage there. And now you have a strong, strong hinge there. Same thing with this one. Get the glue right down the center, in that gully. Go to the side. Boy, I am so crooked. You guys can do this better than me. Get it to the ends. And again, squeeze that together. Pull that glue to the sides and then flip it over. See if you have any seepage. No seepage on this side. So now we have our two strong hinges. Same thing with the last one, the last two. So now you have your four hinges for your four pages. And then you are just going to, like you normally do, give these a good burnish because you want these to be movable. You want them to move. And then just work them back and forth so you got some good hinges that move. So there you go. So this is going to be fitting over 
your three inch spine. So when you adhere it, you know this is the center. You know this is the center. Here's page one, page two, page three, page four. This is going to be your center. So you are going to be putting that in the center of your spine, here and here. So remember, you put score tape on the back side of this. You just do wall to wall score tape, just like you've seen it done multiple times. I guess you could use glue. Okay. I, I've just always used score tape for this part. Um, so you're gonna center it top to bottom and you know exactly where your point is going to be. You're going to be adhering this piece down first. Just have your, pull your score tape here, get that centered, and then the rest is easy. Just pull the score tape off of the side. And that's, that's it for the hinge. So what it's going to look like Here's the hinge. Now, why do we want this, this hinge? I'm going to bring in the pages. So these are the pages to our book. So I want to show you how they're going to fit. So here is page one. So this is going to be going in here. like this. Like that. So it gives us a strong anchor for the pages. So that's page one. And this goes, here's page two. Get these pages in page three. And page four. Oops, get that one in. Page five, that went in. So, like that, like that, like this, and like this. So this is just going to give you more room in between your pages. You'll have a little extra gap here, so they kind of um, fold over each other a little bit more, especially with a landscape. It just seems like with landscapes, there's a lot of stress on here because they, they are so long. And then this is what it's going to look like inside. So these pages are pretty big and I haven't really filled them up with a lot. So that's why I wanted this wider spine so we have room to add stuff, lots of pictures in here. So that is our three inch spine with those a little bit larger hinge elements also. Now for our base pocket pages. So we need to make pocket pages. So remember our base album is eight by 10. The pocket pages are going to be seven, seven and a half by nine and a half when they're finished. So what you're going to do is cut two pieces of black cardstock I actually use for my album the 80, 85 pound cardstock. I just really like the heaviness of that. You can use 65 pound, that's fine too. And these are not the ones I use. I'm just using these to show you how to do it. So you're gonna cut two pieces of your black cardstock eight by nine and a half inches. So. You're gonna make four pocket pages, and each pocket page you're gonna create with two 
pieces cut at eight by nine and a half. On the eight inch side, you are going to score it half an inch. So you're gonna score it a half an inch and then you're gonna add your score tape right there. So I'm using two different colors just so you can see. So they're both scored, the eight inch side, and then we have our score tape. So basically you are just going to be aligning this score tape with this page here, and then this score tape with this page. And you are just going to line them up. And I, I'm still kind, kind of a wuss here. So I'm gonna line it up. And I am just going to put my little clips here because I know paper always moves on me. Line it up. And I'm just gonna get my tape. And now I can basically adhere it. Now I can do the same for this page. Just pull the tape. Come over and pull the tape. And now we have our pocket pages. So now you're going to make four of these pocket pages.